Hello everyone. In this video, I will present you some ways of um, how to characterize some objects in the manner of their uh, spectral information. And in the second part, I would like to show you how to use this information for a automatic classification approach, which is called the k-means algorithm, or also known as the unsupervised uh, classification. To do this, we will first need some kind of layer stack, which will represent your scene of, um, yeah, your, your interesting scene, like our scene here in Berlin. I've done a subset of the scene, so we only have here the city of Berlin, as you can see here. And so first part is how to get in spectral information about an object. So we will do that on a, a full screen mode. And therefore, you have some kind of um, tools here. You can use the start update inquire cursor, as you can see in the lower left corner. And this will show you some kind of um, cross in the middle here, which you can turn everywhere or lay down everywhere you would like to. And let us suppose to concentrate on this pixel. That is the hangar from the airport envelope, I think and you will get some information about this special pixel. First of all, this his location in the or in geographic coordinates, which is represented here in UTM coordinates, his position in the file itself, so it's the pixel number 690 and 660 in the Y uh, direction. And as you can see in this uh, row or column, I don't know exactly, um, you have the file pixel values. So it's a digital numbers which the uh, sensor, so the ATM plus sensor, received. And you will find some high values in the first three bands, which is a visible light, then a lower value here in the fourth band, which is a near infrared, um, quite a high value in the fifth band, and in the seventh band, which is the sixth layer, we have done the layer stick here with the layer uh, with the bands one, two, three, four, five, and seven has a smaller value, and uh, yeah, it is represented by the uh, by the color of white or whitish color here in this true color pixel, a uh, true color uh, picture. And if we if we turn the cross into some kind of uh, wood area, this is a park um, park region or a park in, in near to the. Uh, airport, you can see that uh, this um, trees or vegetation area has other values. As you can see here, you have really low values in the uh, first three bands, a higher value in the fourth bands, and some kind of um, yeah near low values in the fifth and the, in the seventh band. And as you can see, this. Um, well use doesn't change any, uh, so much if you are just uh, using the information in this park area. We can also go into some kind of woodland here, in the Grunewald. Oh. Let's change this tool here once again. Um, and you can see here that the values are nearly the same. So just have a look on that. Low values here in the bands 1, 2, 3. Uh, higher value in the fourth bands and lower values in the fifth and the seventh bands. So this is one possible way of showing the um, spectral information of a pixel. A second way is to use this uh, profile tools and for profile tools you have three different choices. First of all you can have a spectral profile. I'll show you that. Okay, please uh, um, calculate some statistics. I need that to do now. Okay. Therefore, open the image info, use edit, compute statistics, ignore values of zero, and go ahead. There we go. We are finished now. Once again, use a select profile tool, spectral information, and there we go. So this is a um, new window, and you can use this uh, new profile point in viewer tool to select a, a point in the viewer and you will get the uh, spectral information of this um, point in a graph. So it is representing first band, second, third band, fourth band, fifth band, 
and the seventh band in this point. And one major advantage of this tool is that you can select different points in your area of interest and have some kind of overlaying graph of the um, spectral behavior. So you can see that all these vegetation areas here, or all these pixels are in a um, wood area um, or forested area. You can see nearly the same behavior in the spectral uh, reflectance or in the, in the spectral setup. So you will have a decline in the first three bands, then an uprising in the reflectancy in the fourth band, and then a decline again up to the seventh band. If you would like to uh, show some differences, then just go to the water area, and once again select the water, and what you will see now is that you will have uh, another uh, reflectance. So just see this pixel. As you can see here, this was our forest area and this is the water. So you don't have the um, uprising here in the fourth band. And you can also edit this using the chart legend. Just make the first six profiles, I think, where the forest area, apply that. And there we go. Then the seventh is once again forest area. And you can also mark that down here. So just type in forest, forest, and apply that. And once again, you can also concentrate on the other graphs. Use color blue, maybe apply that. And so you have a really good feeling of what is what are. Um, object that are in, in, in the manner of their spectral information near to each other. Um, let us go to another area. So this is a very urbanized area in the western part of Berlin. And just use a, a spectral profile tool on this on this um, object. Yeah, I'm not really sure what it is, but it, I think it's some kind of the um, uh, the trading center and as you can see you have a different spectral um, behavior of this pixel so you have a decline up to the second uh, band then an uprising here in the third a major decline in the fourth bands and once again the uprising and as you can see the um, I don't know the form or maybe the um, signatures really similar to each other. You have some major differences in their, in their uh, magnitude, but the uh, form is the same.